the misconception about curses is that you have to be a witch or practicing black magic or voodoo in order to place a curse on someone, which is not true. Uh, we can all, and we all do, place curses on each other. So a curse is just when someone has implanted a negative or limiting belief. And if you believe it to be true, then that is a curse. Curses can come in many different forms of potency. And as long as you are manifesting or creating a life around that curse or that limiting or negative belief, then it is acting as a curse. For example, if your father or mother or caregiver told you that you were stupid and dumb, that is a curse because we perceive it to be so. If a teacher told you that you were not good at art or you could never be a dancer or you don't have it, what it takes to be a lawyer or whatever it is, a doctor, then we perceive that to be a curse. It creates a limiting belief, a negative belief that we carry for decades. If you had a parent who compared you to a sibling saying that why can't you be smart like them or why can't you be tidy like them or why can't you be as sensible and responsible as them then that also becomes a curse. A curse is just a limiting negative belief that we kidnap and hold on to and it shapes our lives. Or maybe you had a boyfriend who told you that no one could handle you or that you were too much. Or you had a girlfriend who said no one will love you as much as I do. When people go through breakups and it's a ugly breakup, they will tend to curse the person that they're breaking up with. You know, I hope you have a whatever life or I hope you get into a car crash or whatever. I hope you get a disease and die. So these are all curses that we project onto people. And when a lot of people have said negative things to you, it is possible for you to carry these curses for decades and even your entire life. Even believing that something runs in the family like diabetes or cancer is a form of curse. And then people, depending on who you are, you can actually manifest a situation. You can manifest illness because you believe it is genetic. You believe it's in your genes. You believe it's in your DNA. You believe that this is your fate. Superstitions are also a kind of curse. I believe that if I do XYZ, it will create XYZ. I have worked on so many people who are desperately unhappy with their lives because they have ended up in a career and a job that they hate purely because their parents projected onto them their own ideas of what they should do. Be realistic, be sensible, be responsible. That's never going to happen. Don't do that. Don't do what you love. Be practical. Make money. Secure your future. And these projections create a kind of prison and a curse is basically a prison that you don't feel like you can break out of.
it's very difficult to break out of a mental and emotional psychological prison when that has been your conditioning for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And parents don't realize that they are cursing their children. They think that they are being realistic and setting up their children to win, but they're not taking into consideration the emotional well being. They're not considering happiness and fulfillment. So think about all the negative things that people have said to you, including your parents or caretakers or friends or teachers or partners. Things that people have said to you that you then took on as a belief. And one by one, you want to delete them from you, simply by saying, delete that belief from me. You can swipe over your heart center or your solar plexus, delete that belief from me. If you want to go a bit further, you can say, delete it from my mind, body, spirit, soul. And if you want to go further, you can say, delete it from my conscious, subconscious and unconscious. And you can imagine or visualize yourself giving that gift back to the person. So the moment you take yourself back to the moment when they said it to you, right? Because you didn't have to take it on, but you didn't know that you didn't have to take it on. It was their projection. So you take yourself back to that moment, imagine them saying whatever it is that they said to you. And then you put that in a box, like a gift box and you return it back to them and you say, no, thank you. When people cut each other off in traffic, they curse each other. Happens all the time, every single day, every minute is happening. Someone is cursing someone. Right? So if you find yourself automatically cursing someone and then you don't even realize it because someone just cut you off, delete it. Just go, oops, okay, I just cursed someone. Delete that. Cancel it. So I want you to go through all these beliefs that you have. You know, why don't you think or feel, why don't you think you can be in love? Why don't you think you can find a wonderful partner? Why don't you think you can be abundant? Why don't you think you can be successful? What negative or limiting beliefs or curses did you absorb growing up to create this? If you feel a limiting belief come up or a negative belief come up about yourself, about your ability, delete it. And you can say, delete that curse. And it can be a generational curse. It may be a curse that has been passed down. A lot of times when I work on people who are depressed, their depression doesn't belong to them. It belongs to one of their parents. So you can say, okay, delete my mother's depression or delete my father's depression. Delete my father's addiction. Delete my mother's addiction. Whatever it is. We take on our parents or our ancestors' features like, you know, I have my father's shoulders and I have my mother's lips right but we also take on their traumas we take on their negative beliefs we take on their limiting beliefs their superstitions and it becomes a curse